Hi, this is Ron and welcome back to my backyard here in Stavis Bay, Washington. Today we're going to be doing a, showing you a little bit about the knives I use and some good knife sets that you can buy. So let's get started. The knives that I use, I really, two main knives I use, that's a 10 inch breaking knife and a six inch uh, curved semi-flexible boning knife. Those are really the main two. I also have some uh, slicing knife, so if you don't have a meat slicer, if you're slicing bacon or big steaks off, that's a little bit easier to use. The brand I use, I use Forstner's, they're by Victorinox, same people that make the Swiss Army knives. And these things are great. They're high quality, they're uh, commercial grade, they use them in meat shops and everything else. I uh, just can't say enough about how much bang for a buck you get out of these knives. So, over here, uh, kind of my set that I've had put together for years with a few different sharpening steels. I was looking online and I found a really nice set on Amazon of Forstner's. This is what they call their competition barbecue set. And it's got everything you really need except their breaking knife is only a 8 inch breaking knife. I'd add to this set a 10 inch breaking knife. So that's about it. And these, this is a brand new, this is a brand new set. And, uh, you know, these things generally come pretty sharp right out of the package. So, that's one of the many reasons I enjoy these knives. Just excellent steel. So, once you get yourself a good set of knives, the trick is keeping them sharp, which is really easy to do. I work over wood cutting boards, and then when I'm done slicing meat, rather than uh, don't throw them in the sink like this and let them get all beat up, turn on the water... I keep my knife blade up on something, sponge with a little bit of water on it, just like that, rinse it off, dry it off, And then I have these magnetic knife holders, uh, blade protectors, or also come from Forstner. And just put it in that, and that'll keep your blade well protected so you don't get all beat up. Don't throw them in a dish rack. Just keep them, keep them, take good care of them in that manner, and they'll stay sharp a long time. Now, every once in a while going through, you're going to want to take a steel and give them a few hits on either side. The steel just straightens out the edge. It doesn't really remove <coughs> any metal. If you if they go a little too far, <coughs> I've got an oval steel here. It's a little bit of diamond on it. And if you need to take a little metal off, that, that'll take a little metal off. So those two tools uh, really only work good if you keep your knives pretty damn sharp and in good shape from the get-go. So, uh, that's, that's about all I really got to say on knives. These three here will get you through 95% of what, I'm, what I do. Uh, this set here has got all those. It's got a slicing knife, 8-inch chef's knife, a paring knife, and a small breaking knife. So, most bang for your buck is probably to buy this set and then just do an add-on to buy this 10-inch uh, breaking knife and give you a heck of a good set of knives. So, thanks for watching.